everybody. Let's try this space truss problem. So we're trying to find the axial forces in members AB, ABC, and BD. So basically we want to do the method of joints at joint B. So if I draw the free body diagram of joint B, what does it look like? Like this. Okay, so there's some axial force from B to A, from B to D, from B to C, and then there's the roller, right? So there's a, there's the reaction at the roller. Okay, so there are four unknowns, but for joint B, at best, I can write three equations. So that's not good. What are we supposed to do? We can draw the free body diagram of the entire structure, the entire space truss of the whole structure, right? So then that looks like, you know, like this. And then all we care is that there's a load here I'll just call it load F. And then there's a reaction at B from the roller, at C from the roller, and at D. I'll just call it B and C and D. Okay. So for the whole structure, we can write in the X direction, uh, there's nothing happening. In the Z direction, there's nothing happening. But in the Y direction, B plus C plus D minus 1200. And then for the whole structure, we can sum torque about anywhere we want. So let's say we sum torque about point B at the origin. Then there's torque from force F. So then that would be R from B to A cross F. And then there's torque from D. So then I go R from B to D cross that reaction. There's torque from the reaction at C. R from B to C cross that reaction. And then there's no torque about point B from this force. So then that's it equals zero. Okay, let me just write this out explicitly. So from B to A is 5, 3, 2, and then the force is only in the J direction, negative 1,200 in the J direction. Okay, so from B to D is 10, 0, 0, and then the reaction here is only vertically in the Y direction, some unknown magnitude D. And then from B to C is 606. And the reaction here is only in the Y direction, some unknown magnitude C. Okay, and then zero vector means zero I plus zero J plus zero K. Okay, let's multiply this thing out. So in the I direction, there, zero minus negative 2400 minus negative 2400, so positive. Uh, let me make note of the units, feet and pounds. Okay, that's I. J direction, zero. K direction, um, negative 6000 minus zero. Okay, so this is from this. Now here, I direction, 0, J direction, 0, K direction, 10, D. That is in the K direction. Okay, now this one in the I direction, negative 6, C. In the, that's in the I direction, J, 0, K, positive 6, C. Okay, and now see how in the I direction we have 
of this. Uh, I'll say, I'll write it like this, in the i direction, equals zero. Right, so this is exactly the same as if we sum the torque, but only take the x component, right? This is the x components right here, would be this. Equals zero. Now let's take only the y components. Oh, uh, we don't have any. Okay, so ignore, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, take only the z components here, here, here. So let me write that. Equals zero. Okay, so actually, let me move this equation here next to these. Okay, I'm just going to erase this one. Okay, now take a look. Three equations. three unknowns. Right, so which way do you want to solve it? Solve this first. Now you have C. Plug that number in here. Now you have D. And then you have both C and D. So for the last remaining unknown, B. Which means right now you know all three reactions. Okay, which means you know this. So now we can take we can do method of joints, right? So here's free body diagram of joint B. Um, let me copy this picture over. Okay, so. Right, so we wanted to some forces x, y, z, but let me break down each of the, let me get that free body diagram too. Okay, so our free body diagram has four different forces. We already know this one. It's, right, that vector is, we know this number. Right, it was we know this number so now let's get all the other vectors decomposed and then we can put them all into right just some forces x some forces y some forces z equals zero but for now, let's just split up each of these into its components. So BA is some unknown magnitude, but the direction is the unit vector from B to A, which we can totally get, right? Unknown magnitude, but the unit vector from B to A is 5i plus 3j plus 2k over, just divide by its own magnitude. Uh, let's see, while well, I'm here, so that's 25 and 9 and 4, so that's 38. Okay, so I'm just going to write root 38. Okay, now for vector BC, same technique, unknown magnitude. But the direction is the unit vector from B to C, which we can get. Right, the unit vector from B to C is 6i plus 0j plus 6k divide by its own magnitude. Okay, so that's um, root 72. Okay, and then B, D. Um, Okay, is unknown magnitude, and then the unit vector from B to D is actually just along the x-axis, so just like that. Okay, 
So now we have all four vectors split up into components. So let's sum forces in the x direction. So the x component of this is zero. The x component of this is five over root 38 t, this one. The x component of this is six over root 72 t b c. The x component of this is t b d equals zero. Right now, y direction. The y component of this is, we know that number from what we solved here. Okay, so we know it. That's known. This is known. And then the y component of this is right here. 3 over root 38 t b a. The y component of this is 0. The y component of this, 0. Okay. Now in the z direction, the z component of this, 0. The z component of this is right here. 2 over root 38 t b a. Okay, the z component of this is right here. 6 over root 72 t b c. And the z component of this, which is 0. Okay, so now we have three equations, three unknowns. Let me make note of the unknowns. Okay, here, here. Okay, so in which order do you want to solve it? Solve this one first, right? So now you know T B A, that's done. Take that number, substitute it right here. And now look, you can solve this for T B C. Now we know both T B A and T B C. So there's only one unknown left right here. Now we know all three reactions, all three axial forces. And then just let me make one last note. If the value is positive, because we assume I drew these all in tension, then it's tension. Right, if the value is negative, because we drew the arrows in tension, then it would be compression. And you would have to note tension or compression. Okay. Okay, so give this one a try. And then if you want to practice even more, you could go to the next joint. So for example, joint C, right? And then just draw the free body diagram of joint C but then you would already know the answer for BC. So then you would only have two unknowns here. And then you could go to joint D and then you would already have the answer for BD and CD. So there would actually only be one unknown left here. And then you would know all the axial forces in the entire space truss. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you on the next video.